Hello English 10, Ms. Long here. I uh, hope once again that you had a wonderful, wonderful weekend. This time of year is perhaps my favorite. It's warm, it's not overly hot, just beautiful, the, the leaves are changing. Great time to get out and just enjoy this beautiful Colorado weather. So I hope you were able to do that this weekend. Uh, this is the video that begins the session four in unit one. So it's kind of the the starting to wrap things up. It's the, the end of the beginning and the beginning of the end or something like that. This is the session where we were going to work with the books that you have been reading for the last several weeks. You've each had a choice novel, Gatsby, or Lesson Before Dying, or All Quiet on the Western Front. And this is the session where we are going to apply everything that you've learned in Edgenuity, all the skills of literary analysis, literary elements, literary devices, and you're going to apply it to the novel that you read independently. So it's kind of a complicated session because I've given you a lot of choices so it's really important that you stick with the video and walk through this particular one so that you're not confused. Because as you can see here, I have quite a few pages as part of this. Now they're not all for you, but the pages are there because I've given you so many different options. Where you will start is your session plan, which tells you our goals, what we're doing, where we've been, where we're going, why we're doing it, how to get a hold of me, what assignments count in your grade, and as always, a suggested schedule so that you can pace yourself throughout the week. Really what it comes down to is you're going to discuss your book, you're going to write a paper about your book, and you're going to proofread that paper with one particular focus on how we punctuate titles. So it's not as complicated as it looks, but there are a lot of different options. So I want to show you how that works. I want to emphasize that this is not a session you should begin before you've finished reading your book. Uh, you could do the quiz for this session, but really most of the things in here you have to have read your book for. So make that your priority if you haven't already finished your book. Once you have finished your book, it'll be time to have a virtual book club to engage in that kind of discussion that makes the book worth reading to begin with. Now I am going to ask you to go back to that question. The question that I posed in the introduction to our course, how do we know when a book is worth reading at all? What makes a classic that a teacher says you have to read so valuable? Why would you even care? What is it about classics or what is it about contemporary books that are valuable? And I think as you proceed through some discussion and some literary analysis, you're going to be able to answer that question. So you will have a discussion page for your particular book. As you can see back here, I have discussion pages for each of the books that have been read. You should only see one page, and that one page should have, for example, let's just go to the next one, should have an, uh, your book in the upper left-hand corner so that you know you're on the right page. This is going to be a two-week discussion because this session and next you'll be able to really process the book in depth through the different things you're doing. So I would expect you to post several times during that two-week session. You're going to post originally on one of the prompts for your session and then you're going to respond multiple times to multiple peers. So the idea is have a really good discussion, the kind of discussion where if you were in a brick and mortar school, the bell would ring and you'd go, oh, we were just getting into it. That's what I want to see online. So have a good discussion with your group that read your book. The next task we're moving to is the literary analysis, which is not a summary paper. It is a multi-paragraph analysis paper where you're taking the text, looking at the different parts of it, and really coming to a conclusion about what that book was, what, why it was important. Now you again have two choices. I've gotten mixed reviews on Edgenuity and I have mixed feelings on this particular prompt. So you do have the option of using the Edgenuity prompt and the materials that are pretty closely tied to that prompt, which is to take your essay and analyze it from the perspective of a quotation. And they've given you the quotation here. The other option, door number two, is to choose another prompt, and I've given you again several options, and you're going to develop your own multi-paragraph essay on that. No matter which one you use, you're going to be evaluated with this rubric here. This is the District Cornerstone Genre rubric, and so you'll want to take some time to look through that. Now, if you've taken the Edgenuity route, you will find that those resources are here as well. The link to the assignment, the lesson called Writing a Literary Analysis Through the Lens of a Quotation, right in here. You can also use the resources, regardless of whether you use Edgenuity, 
You can use the other resources I've provided, which is to kind of explain more about what a literary analysis is, and then a PowerPoint on how you go through that particular process, what it is that your literary analysis needs to include. So you're going to go through this process either in Edgenuity or through the materials I've provided with a prompt of your choosing, again, door number one, two, three, four, or 25, and then you're going to write a draft for your literary analysis. Multi-paragraph meaning more than one, a uh, five paragraph essay, but it could be a four, it could be a six. It's just the idea is that's about the level of depth that you should look at. Um, I'll mention here that I do prefer Google Docs over other forums because then I can give you content uh, feedback right there in the text so that you don't have to go back and forth, toggle between Schoology and your document to get that feedback. I will work with other forums. I'm not going to hunt you down and and yell at you or anything, but I would prefer a Google Docs for your sake so that you get feedback when you need it, where you need it. After you've given me your draft and given me a few days to look that over, or a day or so to look that over, uh, spend some time looking at conventions for capitalizing and punctuating titles. Some of you in your journals would put quotation marks around books. Some of you have used underlines, italics. What are those rules? You're going to be working with a lot of different types of literature throughout the year. So when is it that you use quotation marks? When do you use underlining? When can you use italics? And with that, which words are you supposed to uh, capitalize? It sounds very basic, and yet it's not something I see consistently in writing. So take a chance to take time to review that, and then take the quiz that is provided on the next page for you. From there, you'll have your feedback from me by that point. You can revise and edit your paper using this little checklist, some online resources, and then you'll submit your final paper in both Schoology and da -da, Turnitin. Turnitin is an online plagiarism checker. It was mentioned in the introduction to our course, the orientation. You will need to turn it in in both places to have it graded. Turnitin is, it has a lot of great tools for me to use in responding to it, but it also helps me and helps you to understand the importance of originality. So you'll need to go to turn it in and create an account if you don't have one already. Many of you probably do. Then join my class with this ID and this password, and then find the assignment Literary Analysis and upload your paper. So you will go through those steps, and that will pretty much be the end of this particular session. And I'll let you know that in the next session, the final session, you're going to be doing an oral presentation like a Prezi or PowerPoint about your book and participating in a discussion with some other people who didn't read your book. In this, this particular session, you're discussing with people who also read your book. And in the next one, as we move on, you'll be reading and discussing orally online with people who haven't read your book. So you'll be selling them on the importance of your particular novel. And that's where we're going. I hope you have a fabulous week, and please don't forget to message, call, text, or whatever when you have questions. Have a great week.